In the previous video, I showed you how to record a supplier payment. In the video before that, I showed you how to record a customer payment. I'm now going to show you how to record a payment from the bank or perhaps petty cash that doesn't need allocating to an invoice, perhaps bank interest, a bank charge, a small expense such as a train fare, something like that. When we don't have a supplier on QuickBooks for those sort of expenses, we still need to record those payments. The way you do that is by going to expenses, but instead of going to this supplier list and recording the payment as I did in the previous video, you need to go to expenses here, click on new transaction and click on expense. You'll then have this box up here. We have the bank at the top here. Make sure it's the correct bank account. So I've got HSB current. This is the bank account that I added in a previous video. Put the payment date in. Let's say it's today. Bring out the nominal account. So let's do traveling. Let's say it was a train fare. Enter the amount and the VAT. Once you're happy, you can click save and close. If you have more expenses to add, you can do a new line and just keep adding line upon line as long as the payment date was the same. If the payment date was different, just click save and new. It will record the expense and give you a new template. So you can change the date, then add a new expense. So let's just go through that again. You can see my expenses now showing here, traveling expense on the 13th. Let's say there was a lover expense at the end of January, which was a bank charge. Put in the description, I'll put bank charge for Jan 18, the amount £4.90, new VAT on this one. Save and close. That's then been added as an expense. Just make sure that each time you add an expense using this page that the account is correct. If you have multiple bank accounts, perhaps a petty cash account, just make sure you've highlighted the right account before clicking the save and close, as well as ensuring the payment date is correct. So in the last few videos, I've shown you how to record payments and receipts from the bank account to suppliers, to customers, and then just sundry miscellaneous expenses that happen in any company or business. I'll now go through some miscellaneous items with you, such as viewing some reports, editing transactions, deleting transactions, and then this tutorial will come to an end. After this tutorial, please go to my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com, as I'll have a bank reconciliation tutorial. I'll also have a VAT return tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. I do appreciate it, and I'll speak to you again shortly.